Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bone. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm here to tell y'all about Monday Fun Days! Woo! Woo! Is this festive? I don't know. I was hoping I... Mm, there we go. I was hoping I had some flags, but I don't. If I did, we could have fun with flags. Right? <laughs> but anyway, it's... Hey Tammy, I'm um I'm playing with my not really flags. These are pinwheels. These were paper pumpkin like two three years ago. I don't even know. It's a cute little straw, and you you make these. I don't know. They they were so cute, and I've kept them and kept them. And um anyway, so I'm trying to get it over here on my iPad. So please hold. Tammy has the cutest puppy ever. And I can say that because I have three puppies and they're cute. But her puppy is ridiculous. Okay, so, um, oh, hey, Angela. Woohoo! It's July 4 week. It's Independence Day week. Um, my brother, oh, hey, Deanie. My brother called tonight and he said, so how would y'all like to go to Peachtree City and watch fireworks like we all, that, like we all used to do? And I said, no. <laughs> Ninja Man does not like a crowd. Now, he enjoys the event, but you don't want to be in the car with him when it's time to leave, and there's not a helicopter available to pick me up. So, okay, so happy 4th of July. So now that we're all here, I'm going to, um, I got to tell y'all, this is going to get weird because I'm going to have to put my phone up on my thingy up here, and y'all going to get feel drunk for just a, a minute. That's one of the perks of coming to my videos. You would rather eat a bug, yes, than to go to 4th of July. I know, I know. Mm -mm. I'm going to stay home and hug on my puppies when everybody starts getting crazy out there. Y'all, I got some great techniques to um, learn tonight. We're going to use one stamp set and uh, a few different colors of ink. And you'll see what all we're going to use. And we are going to make our very own designer series paper, number one. And at 8.30, that's from 8 to 8.30, at 8.30, we're going to make a card with that paper. So that's two different things you're going to be able to do with the stamp set, among many other things. If I can whip out a couple of extras, I will while we're, um, while we're hanging out, if I run, you know, if, I'm, if I got a lot of time left. So I'm going to put you up on the thing. If y'all get busy, just hold, hold on, hold on. There we go. And we're getting there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, was it? Wasn't too painful. Okay. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, but the technology that I want and need is $300. And I have not yet, um, I've not yet been able to swing such a thing on my, on my current Stampin' Up! income, y'all. Oh, goodness, there you went. Okay, okay, so, all right. Um, my store's right here. July host code is here. If you're going to order anything um, and it's under $150, you'll use this code, please, on this store. It will ask you at some point. I'll show you the card we're going to make tonight. This will be the 830 project. Let me get a close-up here. Now this, um, this paper in the back, we're gonna make ourselves. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with a stamp set. So this is all one stamp set, and it is called Floral Essence. This is the stamp set here. And we have a punch for this. Let me see, can you see it? It might be, I'm too close. All right, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we actually have a punch for this one. And there's a punch for this one, but I don't have it. And we are going to um, cut this out by hand to make the card. And we're going to stamp with this one and some others. So I think you're going to enjoy this. So Floral Essence is our... Is our um, stamp set this is the punch and it is called perennial flower and it doesn't look like a flower does it but indeed it is 
and I will show you that shortly. And I will show you over here in the catalog. This is the stamp set here. And they do have designer series paper that you can get with it. And it's got a Monet kind of a look to it. I mean, I don't really know my artist, so don't be impressed. I could be totally wrong, but it looks, I don't know. You can name it what you want to. I think it's Monet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to see your comments. Dagnabbit. Heather, I really need an education here. I cannot find the comments. There you are. Hi, Karen. Okay. Hey, uh, Nicola. N Nicola, I hope I pronounced that correctly. So glad to have you here. And join me on my YouTube channel too, Nicola. Same name, Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed. Okay, so this is the Perennial Essence Suite. And what we're doing on, um, on our Monday Fun Days, I'm going to have a must-have. So the must-have today is this bundle. It's going to be the Floral Essence Stamp Set and the Perennial Flower Punch. Now here it is in the whole suite, where for $68 you get everything. Everything. Neoka. Oh, that's beautiful. Neoka. I love that. Thank you. Okay, so up here in the front of the catalog, we have just the bundles. And here is your floral essence bundle right here. We've got the stamp set and the punch, and it's only $31.50. You pay shipping and um, tax, and um, this is U.S. only. If you're in Canada, you'll need a, Canada, a Canadian distributor, a Canadian um, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Okay, does anybody need a catalog? If you need a catalog, comment below. And you're going to get, um, you'll get on my list for the um, December, uh, the holiday catalog, once we have everybody that places an order $50 or more, you will get a, you'll be on my list for that. I oh, can't even talk. I'm sorry, y'all. These are the colors that I used with this card. All right. That is, um, gray, uh, gray granite. Go this way. Gray granite, flirty flamingo, coastal cabana, and granny apple green those are the colors in here okay and we're gonna go back over that at 8 30 but for right now we're gonna make its background so I'll get started on that and I have no way of telling what time it is isn't that pleasant thank you oh I gotta look at <laughs> thank you ne Neoka <laughs> I'm gonna have to write that down so I don't have to keep looking for the comment Gotcha. Okay. I seriously did write it down. I'm, I'm a big word person and I like to get things correct. All right. So this right here is a half of uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. It is now eight and a half by five and a half. It was 11 inches this way. It's eight and a half that way. So we could just fold it in half and use it as a card, but we're not going to do that. We are going to start stamping our background. Now let's just say, the reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to, to just consider, let's say you don't want to buy all the stuff. You know, you, I'm trying to save you some money here. You, you just want to make something that's going to go well with your card and, uh, hang on, I need, I need this note, y'all. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to forget it. Um, want to make something that goes well with your card and, you don't want to have to buy a bunch of supplies. And this will help you there. Okay, uh, don't you have a watch? Well, Tammy, I do, but I'm not wearing it, and it's that way. It's in the bedroom. But I figured I've got my I've got my phone up here, and i got my iPad over here, but it doesn't quite work that way, because while I'm live, I can't see the time. It's going to be a hot mess. Um, okay, so we're for the next card, and I have not tried this yet, but we're going to use Gray Granite, Soft Suede, Old Olive, and pineapple punch okay now this is gonna get messy so y'all just y'all just prepare yourselves because it's gonna get messy all right this is the gray granite and goodness I wish I could get Tammy or Tammy if you can if you can hang out till 830 
Tell me when I'm. Tell me when it's about eight twenty, please, if you can. Oh, goodness, there. Okay. So where's my stamps? I, oh, crazy. I put everything in the exact place, and then I can't find it. All right. This is going to be fun because not only are you going to learn how to make your own background paper, you're also going to learn how to mask. Super easy. Don't get excited. All right, so I'm I'm putting photopolymer is going it's going to stain. Just get used to it. It's okay. There's no pink ink on here at all. So I'm dipping this in my gray granite and I'm going to stamp off first. Then I'm going to stamp over here. Then wouldn't you know my band-aid would do that. All right. Stamp off and stamp over here. Stamp off and stamp on the side. Now, y'all feel free to laugh if I screw this up. Because, <laughs> I mean, anything can happen, people. Okay, that's enough for this one. So, I'm going to clean this on my Simply Chamois right here. Yes, they're supposed to look that gross. And, yes, it freaks me out and it makes me unhappy. But, it's okay. So, you see how clean that stamp is? Bam. All right, we're going to put this guy up. Now, what do I mean by masking? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. This is post a post-it note, but it's not just any post-it note. It is full adhesive. All right. So like it's sticky all over. All right. I love it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that stamp, even though I just cleaned it. Silly me. Put it right there. Gonna stamp it full strength on. I'm gonna have to take my band aid off. It may not be pretty, y'all, but it keeps touching my project, and we can't have that. Okay, but it's not too bad. It barely touched it. All right, so I'm gonna pull this off, and all I'll do is cut this out. Okay, that's it. It's a mask by the magic of television. I have one already cut. Woohoo! Alright, so I'm going to close this guy and get him out of the way so I don't do something crazy. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not going to do something crazy. Okay, and I'm just going to um, figure out where... I like to look for the flat side because they all have just one little flat side. Here it is. I'm going to put this here. Alright. And this is a one I've been using. So, I know the flat side is on this way over here. Let's see. It goes right there. And we're going to be moving these around. Now, if you want, you could do a whole bunch of them. But, you know, I don't want to. i got to clean this. Please hold. Trying to see comments. Just a second. Sorry. Hi, Pinky. <laughs> Tammy, thank you. <laughs> Giggle snort. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know I need I need adult supervision and all kinds of everything. Okay, so now we're going to take this one. And we are going to use... We're going to use the yellow. This is the um, pineapple punch. And there's two ways to open these new ink pads. You can either go like this, which kind of stands to reason... Or you can press them back here and they pop open. I mean, how cool is that? And why do I have ink right here? We'll talk about that another Monday fun day. <laughs> All right. Now this, I'm going to go full strength with the color. I'm going to go stamp. Okay. I'm going to lift up this guy. And I'm going to put him over here, over here, over there. I said that on my YouTube channel the other day, and the lady actually told me what that song comes from. It's like a World War II thing. I mean, my parents used to sing it. I don't know. World War II. Um, there was nothing civil about that war either. Okay, we're going to leave him there. 
Now you see the masks, you're, you're going to see some magic. And I am pressing a little bit. Now let's look at this. What does this do for us? It puts the yellow ones behind the gray ones. How cool is that? Right? And it's so easy. And oh, where do you get these, um, these masking thingies? You get them. I got mine on, thank you, Tammy. I got mine on Amazon. And um, we're at 8.15, so we're gonna, we're just gonna plow on through this. Yeah, I got mine at Amazon, and it's just a, um, because I could not find it in the, in the store. And they may have them now, I don't know, but they sure didn't have them when I needed them. But it's um, basically just full adhesive notes is what you're going to look for. Of course, they're post-its, full adhesive. Now, since I didn't have one on that, I leaned a little closer to this guy, okay? And then we'll do, let's see. Well, I'm just going to um, stop right there on that part because, well, let's see. We'll do one more over here. One more, one more. And this this is our 830 segment. I'm teaching y'all how to mask and how to make your own designer series paper. Now I double stamped that and it turned out pretty good. There we go. All right, um, so now we're going to come in with the, the little leaves and close this up. Okay, now I'm kind of kind of not wasting a minute here. They're called full adhesive or something. <laughs> yes, they are called full adhesive notes and they're post-it notes. Yes. See, your comments aren't just popping up. I'm having to actually go look for them. So I'm sorry. I'll figure that out when my guru and I get together. <coughs> Heather Woody. <laughs> She knows all there is to know about that sort of thing. All right, so I'm just going to put these like this right now and come in with my um, old olive. And are we going full strength? Yes, we are, I think. Let's look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go. Well, I don't know. No, we're going to go. Um, we're going to stamp off and stamp on stamp off and stamp on. There we go. See how we're getting over here? This is this is working. It's working. Just going to try and zip through this. I hope y'all can stay with me for the 8:30 when we actually make the card cuz this is going to be fun. Okay, and we got a few little dots to make too. So let's see, Tammy, what time is it? Let's see. Um, probably about 8.20 probably by now. I'm a thinking. I'm a thinking. Y'all be scared now. I'm a thinking. Okay, I'll put this guy over. Hmm, where's your flat spot? Come on, that's what the, the little guy is, is that little flat spot. Or you can pick out your own, but for me, that's what it is. That's the way it is. And you can stamp right on top and just put a little bit of green right. Oh, did y'all see what I did there? I did not stamp off. But that's okay because it's a little bitty piece. Right there. Not too big of a deal. And here's my flat spot there. And take this guy. And I know it's not perfect. I'll just avoid that little area because I'm trying to get finished now. This is my first Monday fun day. So, you know, anything can and will happen. Like trying to stay in the lines and trying to get it all done. Stamp off and stamp. Now, it probably would be good if I did some of these um, yellow flowers and had some... Um, masks for that but you see you can stamp right onto the mask and it starts looking kind of crazy like that 
Okay, so now, well, let me put a little piece right here. Let's see if we can, let's see. I got nothing but time. Yay! <laughs> hey, Teresa, how you doing? All right, so we are now going to put this, mm, what is that? That one, right there. Put that right there. We're going to put this one over here, over there. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. All right, and then we're going to stamp off, and we're going to stamp right here, okay? Now, we're almost done, y'all, because the easy part's coming. Easy, easy peasy. Clean this real quick, and I, um, in case you joined us late, I'm using the Stampin' Chamois to clean my blocks. I mean, to clean my little my little guys, and those of you in my, um, in my Dove Notes group, our um, church card making group, wonderful ladies, they know about the Stampin' Chamois. They've used it. Okay, so I'm not bothering with this end down here, because we really don't need to make that much tonight. All right, the main thing is do close your ink pads when you're done. Okay, this is soft suede, and we're going to, let's see, I've got an itty bitty baby block down here that's so cute, and that's not it. Hold on, please hold. Oh, here we go. My first trip to the container store. I bought four of these cute little things. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. Okay, so we got that one, and we got this one. That's the cute one. Okay. I'm going to stamp off and then stamp over here. Stamp off and stamp over here. Oh, I'm not even using that side. Stamp off and go here. All right, then I'm going to go wah and here. Wah and here. So you get the idea. We're just stamping off and we're just putting some other things in here. Okay, so now I'm going to clean this off. And this particular stamp is the center of the flower all right so what i'm going to do now clean this guy off too and um in case you're late coming you did not see the original card that's this one in different colors than we're doing here so you could make this a fall winter summer card hi carol i'm so glad you're here thank you if there's anybody on that i have not recognized i'm sorry it's because i don't have um i don't have your comments just popping up i keep having to go over and check them all right and i know we're, we're almost out of time so i'm gonna i'm gonna hustle all right we're gonna stamp off and then stamp right in the middle of that flower stamp off and I'm not in the middle because I'd have to put my head... Oh, that one's good. Stamp off. I don't want to put my head in the screen. So I'm just... Oh, did y'all see what I did? I stamped off twice. What am I trying to do over here, y'all? Okay. Hey, it's turning out pretty good. Pretty good. All right, one more. Over here. All right. And I guess we could go ahead and... Do the little yellow one we can we can do that we'll do that real quick real quick and grapefruit grove to the rescue Pum -ba -dum. charge all right i think i'm gonna go full strength on it and see what happens uh, there's actually a shape i'm supposed to follow but you know what it's all right it's okay on there it's because i'm not over it y'all i can't see i'm over it okay there we go all righty so that is how we are going to make our background our background paper um so here here's here's what i want you to know you can come in with your markers stamp and write markers um i love this this set of markers they're fabulous you can come in with those and color some more if you'd like. You can use your um, color pencils and your aqua painter, the watercolor pencils and the aqua painter, and color them gently. If if you're oh, if you're using Whisper White cardstock, you don't want to go crazy, all right? Um, because it's not it's not made for watercolors, but you can just gently use it and you're good to go. All right, 
So let's see, 8.25. Tammy, is that right now or a few minutes? I'm going to wait just a second for Tammy to tell me what time it is. And 8.25. Uh-oh. Where did y'all go? There you are. 8.25. Okay. I think it's uh, now. Okay, cool. It's 8.25. Great. Thank you, Tammy. So at 9 o'clock, we're going to start making this card. And this looks a little bit more subdued than this one. We're going to have a yellow flower on it, and I've got everything cut over here, so we're going to start that in just a minute. So our Monday must-haves are the bundles, and today's bundle is the Floral Essence uh, stamp set with the, this is called Perennial Flower, and you get 10% off when you order this set. This set is on page... I'll tell you that, and then we're going to make the card. It is on, and y'all get ready to either uh, do a screenshot or write this down. Floral Essence Bundle on page 9. Now, it says 107 here because that's the whole suite. If you want the whole suite, you need to join my team for $99 and get $155 worth of goodies because that's what the special is through July and August. If you join, it's $99. Um, but anyway, if you just want this bundle, because on Monday fun days, we're going to talk about bundles, then you would just pay $31.50 plus tax plus shipping, and you'll have the stamps and the punch. This punch is so cool. It can be used for so many things. You see this little flower here? Yeah, that's that punch. Um, okay, so now it's time to make our card. Thank you all. Thank you, Karen. Um... Thank you all very much, and here we go. First of all, it is the 4th of July week. I know some of y'all saw this earlier. Hold on, y'all know I'm a hot mess. Hold on, stop it. All right, there we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. No, that's not even the song. I don't even know a song for the 4th show, except, you know, America, and I can't, mm -mm. I don't even know all the words, and they, they'd throw me off the ball field, they would, so anyway, this was a former paper pumpkin kit, this is back in the day, um, it was one of my favorites, and they have since improved the kit so much, it's crazy, this is a straw, and it's got a little brad in it, and you fold these little guys, and it's so stinking cute, no, it will not blow in the wind, but I made, um, I made a wreath for my door and I started to bring it over but it still it needs a whole lot of hot glue love before it can come out into public again but um I use these as decorations on my table and on that um on that wreath and it's super duper cute all right so on to the card and the set we're using I will show y'all latecomers it is on page 108 it's floral essence, and these are the, the papers that would go with it. If you wanted uh, background paper other than what we're making tonight, and these are some examples of some of the projects you can make with it. The whole suite is $68, but you can join my team for $99, and you get $158 worth, I mean $155 worth of goodies. Plus, you get $10 the month after you join, you'll get a $10 coupon. Woohoo! Okay, now, again, my store and my host code. All right, now, the, the paper we just made, I need to cut it down to fit on our card. This is our card base. It is, it is, um, eight and a half this way and it's five and a half this way and it was 11 inches but I cut it in half so exactly half this is this is the whole sheet right here that's the whole sheet okay of cardstock and all you do is just cut it in half at the five and a half mark so this ends up being eight and a half and you just fold it in half and you take your bone folder and this right here is your bone folder Macaroni Pony, Tammy Rue. Tammy's going to let me babysit her puppy, aren't you, Tammy? <laughs> okay, 
So now we have what we call an A2 card. You put this in the mail, bada bing, it's good, okay? But we need stuff on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is use this, um, what color is it? Old Olive. And this one, I don't think you can see, but I wrote the numbers. It's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. All right. So we are going to go. What? Of course, that's going to happen while I'm live. Fine. Good googly moogly. And I'm just going to eyeball this, which means I'll probably screw it up royally. All right, there we go. Please hold. I got to grab, grab a refill. Please hold. Uh, okay, I don't have one, so I'm going to use this. Don't look at this because you're going to want it. It's called Fast Fuse, and we don't make it anymore. You can find something similar to it at Michael's, and um, I don't even I don't even know what it's called. Yes, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. There you go. I started just put this all over. Okay, we're not ready, but we got our base the card base and the first layer on. Now, if you want to pop this card up a bit, you could um, you could have embossed this side here, but we're really just going to see one eighth inch of it, so don't bother. All right, here is our designer series paper that we just made, and I'm going to cut it exactly an eighth inch smaller all the way around. So this one is going to be five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to look here first. And I'm gonna go five, five and a quarter. Is that right? Maybe. We'll see. If not, I can change it. All right. And this is the Stampin' Trimmer. Don't get excited. You can't get this either. Um, they just discontinued it. Five and a quarter by four. That's what my notes say. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm right. Woohoo! That is so rare. That is so rare. Now you got to decide which way you want it because I've got a boo boo over here, so I think I might do it this way. I think so. I think so. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this little piece here we're going to use it too, and it's just however wide you want it to be. Okay. 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 Let's see. Yankee Doodle, do or die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, so we're going to take this part. Why did I not glue it down? Because we're not ready. We need something. This is what I had. Now, I would suggest you use a little some, uh, something that you can see a little better than this. But, I mean, this is wonderful um, ribbon. It's called Polka Dot, Polka Dot Tool. And I love it, love it, love it. But... For this particular card, I do wish I'd had, I don't know what, I don't know, but maybe a little different ribbon, okay? Let's see, and these are my paper snips, and yes, you need paper scissors, and tell everybody in the house not to mess with your paper scissors. A real one, nephew. <laughs> That's awesome, y'all keep singing it. Okay, so, okay, this is the cheater method. I started to just do it and not telling you. This is the cheater method. It's going to look like you really wrapped your ribbon, right? Got me some scotch tape right here. I don't know why they didn't make Irish tape. They just have scotch tape. Should we be upset about that? I mean, you know, is that politically correct? <laughs> Somebody told me, to, or I saw on Facebook today, a friend of mine said, you can't use the okay sign anymore. Like, like, like this. Because it's a W and a P, which means something. I don't know, but I, I have no idea what it means. I guess, I don't know. It's it's not good. But, I, anyway. Okay, not going to go all there. Alright, so, we've got our ribbon on. I just taped it on the back. Easy peasy. Alright? Now, at this point, I can glue it down. Because there's nothing else going between this card and the and the little backdrop here. And actually, it's best to go ahead and get it put on right now because it's going to get lumpy. It's going to get lumpy. I like to say that when I'm making gravy. It's going to get lumpy. 
Okay. Um, all right. Uh, people need to get a life right. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Heather. Heather, or, I mean, um, Tammy. What time is it? Okay. So, we are going to first, I'm going to show you this little punch right here. It is called the perennial flower. Well, you've already seen this one. The perennial flower. Yeah, that's the one I was telling you is in the bundle. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to punch the perennial flower for the leaves. All right. Well, through the magic of television, I already have those punched out. I'm trying to keep y'all from being here all night. I'm trying to stay on 30 minutes per, right? Okay, because who do you love? All right, I want to show you up close. This one has, I've got ink on my hands. This one has um, little grooves in it. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, you can, a little bit. Okay, I'll show you where that came from. I used, um, I used this little guy. Um, he's a embossing tool and I just put a line down the middle and went yada 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 you don't have to say yada 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 but it helps and then I turned and I went yada 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 and yada 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 okay let's see if I've got a timer over here let's see I'm sorry next time I'll oh 836 yay hey Jennifer okay so yes now I've got I've got the little marks in my leaves here, and if you want to step this up, you could take a um, sponge dauber, a sponge thing or a dauber, and just put a little darker green on there to give it more dimension, and that would be cool. Okay, so this is our flower. I've already cut most of it out because I want to show y'all something. Believe it or not, we need to learn how to cut. You're not going to go cut, 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 cut cut like this and turn your scissors every which way. You're going to hold your scissors still and just start slicing and turn your design while you're holding your scissors. Believe it or not, it is a big difference. Get used to it. It takes a little while, but once you do, you'll see. I mean, this is just, it's so much better. It's more accurate. It does not tire you out. I highly recommend it. And if you act now, you too can cut your little flowers out. <laughs> All right, so now I've got my little flower. And I need to decide what I want in his middle. So I'm going to use a marker. And I think, I don't know why, but I'm going to use Parapazazz, I think. Yep, why not? Just going to put this in the middle. Just kind of... Did, did a few circles around. I mean, you know, so many things you can do with this to step it up. You can, um, you can spritz it. You know what? I had my spritzers out. And I, I'll use them next Monday if I can remember. You can spritz it and make it uh, shimmery. You could use um, different colors of yellow and put dimension in there. Again, you could use your aqua painter and do that. I mean, there's so many things you can do. All right, so we got that, and then I had a little, here he is. Here's another flower. I stamped the whole flower, and then I just cut a chunk out, all right, because it's exactly that flower, you see? But I want it to have some more volume to it. So I'm going to kind of do this with it. And I'll snip that little piece off right there. And ah, let me get that out of my way because I keep wanting to use it. Okay. Ah, that's what happens when, when I didn't bring over my other little mat thing. See, I'm, I'm just, I'm over here and my stuff is over there. All right. Ninja Man, my husband. Ninja Man. He has been working on the floor under my desk because somebody rolled all over it in a in like a chair and um yeah broke broke some of the flooring. Who would have done such a thing? All right, so then we take our bone folder and we go. Yeah, he actually bought bought me a mat, one of those mats to put under my rolling chair, but it won't be here till Wednesday, and he's just fixed the floor. So I've actually got a dining room chair sitting over there. 
I took two bathroom rugs from my studio bath and um, and I put them face down, so the fuzzy part's down on the floor, and then I put them, I put the chair on top of it. So the chair's on the sticky part and the fuzzy part's against the floor that he fixed, and now I have to scoot back in that chair and I'm just like over it. But I got a rolling chair over here. All right, so these are our leaves, and I'm just gonna cut this one off here and just start putting our leaves on. Isn't that cute? Who do you love, huh? Who do you love? All right, the fun part is that I ran out of my favorite tape. Well, this is my favorite, but we just don't carry it anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna just do dose it up over here, finish it like started. All right, this is some serious, serious glue tape here. So I'm sticking that one on, and then I'm gonna stick this one on He's got so much texture. That is really cool. Oh, seriously? Hold on. Please hold. Would y'all believe, I'm not kidding. Tonight, today, I have planned on this. I've worked almost all day on it. But it's okay because I'm just learning. I'm learning how to do these I'll be on at 8 o'clock videos. Because they're important to me that I help you guys learn stuff. All right, so I cut up the other one, and I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna tear that off, and I'm gonna stick this leaf here. See, we're getting there. And then I'm going to stick this leaf over here. There we go again. All right, so that is going to be our flower. We're going to use these, um, I had to bring out a scary dental tool. There I go again with the charge. All right, hold on. We're going to put this here. These are our Stampin' Dimensionals. They're going to give our flower dimension. Hence the name. 843. Thank you, Tammy. I did see that. I guess I have to just glance over when they pop up. Thank you. And the um, Stampin' Dimensionals, they pop up your card uh, feature. And here's the thing about them. Stampin' Dimensionals are cushy. So it's not that big a deal if they get flattened. But if you don't want that to happen and you're going to mail this, what you'd want to do is maybe either get it hand canceled at the post office. And yes, you have to pay a little extra for that. But hey, you, you've made a card. I mean, you definitely want it to arrive alive, right? Um, or you can put it in a little padded envelope. Okay, and here we go with that. We're going to put that right there, and we're almost done. Okay, so now, let's see. Green layer floral background, flower leaves, and ribbon. All right, guess what we're ready for? What are we ready for? Oh, since you asked, we are ready for the sentiment. Does anybody have any questions while I'm doing this? Let's see. I'm going to go real quick through your things and so <laughs> macaroni pony you're so funny girl let's see okay i think i think i'm up to date on all the uh comments and any anything i need to respond to so we're going to now make the oh let's do this that little strip that we that we cut is this the one i guess it is i'm not fond of that right there so let's do this Okay, I got a boo-boo right here, and I just decided to do this. I'm going to go into my punch here, all right, and remove the boo-boo. We call this stampin' surgery is what we call it. Actually, we don't. I just now made that up. And we shall make the other boo-boo. There we go. All right, so now we got a little different, different strip we're going to put along the bottom here like that. No, it's not. What am I doing? Y'all, it goes this way. Yeah, that'd be kind of cute. Okay. So, actually, it's supposed to be just a just a piece of cardstock going across here. Now, y'all don't forget, I've got a hostess code for your orders. And if you love this bundle... Um, you can order it, well, you can order anything, but go to my store, 
kathybow.stampinup.net and use this host code. You can do a screenshot so you don't have to memorize everything. All right, let's see. What are we ready for? Let's, I remember that. Um, uh, oh, I'm thinking of um, Woodstock. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Don't ask me. I really don't care. <laughs> That's not what they said. All right, so now we're going to do our sentiment. All right, there's this is a neat technique too. All right, we're going to use this right here. We're going to punch this out. Y'all notice I always punch this way. You don't punch these things this way because you'll never, you really and truly will never get to see what you're punching. We need to know what we're punching, right? That's the first thing I learned in, uh, in uh, wrestling. Not really. I never wrestled. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right. Here's our little sentiment. The sentiments on this set say, wishing you a blissful future. All days are beautiful that begin with you. And then with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. We're going to use this one. Now, here's one thing I want you to know. When you punch something out, all right, I'm talking about this shape right here, okay? You can take this and put it over your sentiment and see, is it going to fit? Yes, it is. All of that fits. Isn't that cool? Now, if you had, you know, I mean, a different a different punch, of course, you know, it's not going to work. So you can you can punch that out and just and just look at it and say, oh, that's going to fit really nice. You know, we should say wishing you a blissful future. Let's try that instead. Let me get that one. Punching school. Yes, punching school. All right. Um, okay, I have a lot of scrap paper over here. Card stock, what do you want to say? It's card stock. I'm going to use... What am I going to use? I'm going to use soft suede, the little brown. Let's see if we like that. And if we don't like it, hey, we'll use a different color. What do you think? Oh, I do need to go this way because the stamp is rather wide. Rather. Rather. Okay. Now, stamp, where'd you go? I mean, punch. I keep saying stamp, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to put my sentiment in here, and I'm going to line it up, and I'm looking at it left and right, up and down. I want to go a little bit right there. Okay, see? That looks pretty good, I guess, until I pop it, and then I'm like, oh, crap, it's crooked. I do say, oh, crap, a lot. I'm sorry. All right, poof, there we go. All right, so what happens if if I just lay these together? You can't see the green. <laughs> We have a solution for that little problemo. Wiz is going to cut it in half. That's what Wiz is going to do. And can I reach my other glue from here? Nope. All right, so i got to use this guy again, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do... Can y'all see this? I'm going to place this. Let's see. Come back. The thing about that other glue that I'm using, the um, is it's it's serious. Like it, it doesn't play. It's not going to let go. If you want to reposition, you may as well forget your dreams, lady. Forget it. You'll never be able to reposition ever. All right. So I'm going to trim it just a wee. Just a wee. Just Petunia keeps trying to steal my phone to watch you. I love that puppy. Oh my goodness. Tammy sends me pictures of Petunia and I just, oh, I love that puppy. Just a wee. All right. So, you know, you get the idea, right? Okay. So now I'm going to pop this up. We're going to pump you up. Arnold. Hang on. I got, see, I throw things everywhere, and I put them under things, and then I can't find them. One day, I was making some stuff um, 
at Knit Group, which clearly I wasn't knitting. I was working on paper pumpkin. Could not find my little dimensionals anywhere, y'all. Anywhere. These stampin' dimensionals. Got ready to leave and they were under my phone. Yeah. I, I couldn't use them the whole time. I had to quit doing what I was doing. All right, so I just put four on there. Really and truly, if this was a thicker ribbon, I would have put one, two, three, four and let the ribbon go through. But it's not. It's very, very thin. So you just peel off the backs here. And bada bang, look a butter. Now I'm going to tuck it under just a wee bit. And there we go. And this is our card. Oh, poof. I forgot to, I've got to curl these up. Well, just curl them up by hand, y'all. Good heavens, Murgatroyd. Did I not curl them? I thought I did. I curled something. Well, we're just curling anyway. Here we go. All right, that kind of poofs it up a bit. So, here you go. One stamp set, two very different things that you can do. You can do your backgrounds. You could do just a little three by three. Um, I curled. <laughs> I did. I thought I did. 8.50. Thank you. Thank you. So, we're perfectly on time. This is great. If y'all have any questions, now's the time to start tossing them out there for me. If I missed a question, throw it out there for me. Um, but what I want you to, to review here is we made our own background papers, okay? You can do this with any kind. Thank you, Angela. You can do this with any kind of um, stamps you want. And we stamped off and onto our cardstock so that we'd get a lighter shade here. And we did not stamp off here or here, the yellow. Um, this is the one you watched me make, so I'll tell you more about this one. Stamped off first and then stamped on. This is Old Olive and it's a perfect green. Thank you, Karen. Um, it's a perfect green and I love it. And the thing is, I wanted it softer in the background. These are the exact same greens. This one and this. Same exact green. But you see the difference in... Um, thank you, Nyoka. Thank you so much. Um, but you see the difference in the in the colors. So just by stamping off and then stamping on, or bringing your all your ink over and just stamp directly onto your cardstock, the difference you're going to get, especially with the gray granite, it's already a very light color. But as you see over here, it you see how dark it is compared to when we stamped off. I hope you can see that. It's quite a bit different. Okay, so we learned that, and we learned how to do these leaves. You, you can take any punch that has a pointy part and make a leaf, and you score down it with something, anything, and you make leaf little lines on it. Um, I cut the flower twice, and I did case part of this off of Pinterest. These are two different cards that I saw on Pinterest. Case means copy and share everything, and that's what we do as demonstrators. Um, and we wrapped our ribbon up around here so it, it just looks like it just keeps going. Um, cheated because I taped it on the back here and here. Um, I'm not putting a bow on here because it's already got enough going on. And then when we open the card, we have this pretty little something. Just a little something something, okay? And there we go. So you got plenty of place to stamp another sentiment or add your own little whatever you want to write. And the main thing is tonight, I want you to know, I've got a host code here, and <laughs> there we go. My store is kathybow.stampinup.net, and this is the host code for the month of July. And all you got to do is go in there and go to shop, and you can find the bundle, um, the floral essence uh, bundle. Let's see um, if this is, thank you, Pinky. I hope y'all learned some things. Well, Pinky, you may not have. You've been doing this as long as I have, I think. All right, the suite is called Perennial Essence. It's on page 107, and it's item number 152166. It's $68 plus tax plus shipping. But really, if you join my team, you, will, you can spend $99 and get $155 worth of stuff. Thank you, Tammy. I love you and your puppy. Zia's pretty sweet, too. And then, if you just want the suite, you can, and we're about, we're about to say goodnight here, you can go right here on page nine, and I'm, I said the suite, if you just want the bundle, 
and it's called Floral Essence Bundle. It is item number 151055. It's $31.50 plus tax and shipping. And um, if you spend $50 in July, and this does not include joining my team, if you spend $50 outside of joining or just $50, you will get a $5 um, coupon in August. If you join my team, it's $99, and then you get um, $155 worth of goodies, and then you're going to get, are y'all ready for this? I'm not kidding you. You're going to get a $10 coupon the next month. So if you join in, Ju in July, you'll get your coupon in August. If you join in August, you get your coupon in September. The pr that promotion ends um, August 31st, if there's 31 days. If there's not, it's August 30th, but anyway, the last day of August. So I hope you guys enjoyed Monday Fun Days, and we're going to continue having fun. I have a long list of fun things I want to do. Um, just could not get to everything tonight. So God bless. Thank you all so much for joining me. And um, please let me know if you have any questions. Love you guys. Oh, yes, I'm live every Monday, Neoka. Um, yes, every Monday. And I'm also on, uh, on YouTube at Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, and I have a blog on WordPress, Kathy Bo Creatively Blessed. So um, join me there. I hope to see you again. Thanks, y'all. Love you. Toodles.